Okay, in this session, I'm going to show you how to do some of these um, exercises from Chapter 3, which is Instructions 2. We um, talk about the weight instruction, which tells the bot how long to wait before doing something. We are also going to see how to repeat code. So let's start with PowerShell 4, click play, and we click our wheel grabber and then you click on this little edit button and our goal if we hit F1 our goal is to produce a battery and provide the cleaning robot with this power cell so to do this it says drop the titanium on the power plant and wait five seconds then you take the new battery and you drop it on the jet shooter so we, are, we need to wait for five seconds so you hit F1 again and if you notice our goal is to, I already have some code written here, we need to grab that titanium, then we need to turn left, which is 90 degrees, then we drop it, which is that code, and then we wait for 5 seconds. So the number inside the parentheses says wait for 5 seconds. Then it should be done, then we grab it, then we turn around 180 to the wind shooter and drop the power cell on it. So if we run this code, you will see that we do that, we grab, we turn, we drop. Now we wait for five seconds and we get it and we turn around 180 and we drop it on the winged shooter, which then destroys all the trash. So now let's go back and take a look at Let's take a look at PowerCell 5. We click on play and again here's our wheeled grabber. Click on him and I'm going to hit F1 to see what we need to do this time. Here it says use the titanium ore to produce a cube which then we need to use to produce a power cell. The converter and the power plant and the robot are distant 3 meters from our present position and also tells us here how long to wait for each one. So if you wait in front of the converter for a titanium cube, it says wait 15 minutes. If you wait in front of a power plant for a power cell, it says wait only 5 minutes. So let's go back here and take a look and see what we have. We need to grab this ore, it's not a cube anymore, it's an ore, then we turn left we drop it, we move forward since we are behind the converter. Notice that's the converter that converts the ore to titanium. We move forward three, you drop it, move backward three, so if you're too close to it, it will crash against your grabber. So move back three, then you wait for 15 seconds. Then you move forward, you grab it, which is right here, and then you move back, which is right here, and then you turn to your right, which is negative 90, you move forward, it says again three, they're all three units away, so move forward three, then you drop and then you move back again and you wait. Uh, actually, I'm not moving back, but that's okay. You wait there, if you want, you can always move back, then remember to move forward to grab the power cell. Then you turn around this way again to your right, minus 90, and you move forward three again and you drop it on the winged shooter. So the wait command tells us how long to wait and there are instructions on how long, um, how long of a wait we need for each one of these converters. And if you want to speed it up, you can always do times two, it makes it go a little faster, or times three, which makes it go even faster. So there's your cell, move back, move forward and it's done. Now your assignment is to do power cell 6. I'm going to get you started and then you can do the rest on your own. If you notice here our job is to grab the power cell. Let's uh, take a look at F1. It says if you do not want to write the necessary instructions five times because if you notice we need to do this for five of the bots our goal is to provide the five robots with power and you can write it one time so let's go ahead and write the code one time you can always get it from here you can see what we need to do we need to grab so let's write grab the power cell then we need to turn 90 then you drop then you wait for five seconds 
Then you grab again. Well, you don't need to grab again. Go to F1. So grab, you turn 90, you drop, turn negative 90, and you move on to the next one. So you really don't have to do anything with that cell in this case. And the distance between the two bots is 3 units. So you move 3. And that is for one bot. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. Use this button, compile, to check and see if you have any errors. If not, click OK and run. And that's all we have done. Now if you go back and repeat that code five times, it will do it for the five bots. Now it also seems like our wait is not needed there since we are not waiting to get anything. So we can get rid of our wait. And I want to test this code again to see if everything works fine. So you click the restart, return to start button click our bot. Now you can actually count from this view. If you can't see all the bots, you can always use a plus or the minus sign to go and make sure that that's all we need. We have five bots. So let's go ahead and run that code one more time. We grab, we turn, we drop, and we go on to the next one. And so you know what part of the code you need to repeat four more times in order to do the rest of it. And that should help you finish your assignment.